Hey guys, it's J7 Joyo Pro Studios today with another video. I wanted to talk to you guys today because this is very important for me to talk about. So listen in on this video because you're gonna love it. So here's the deal. I have been living with my parents for my whole life. It's hard to admit this because of the fact that, do I love my parents? Of course. Are they good people? Of course, but there is something that I've been meaning to get off my chest. Excluding the five months that I went out to Florida and India, this is the time where I've been living with my parents for my whole life. Start to finish. And it's unfortunate in a lot of ways because I really do love my parents. But, at the same time, I've always wanted to move out at age 18. I just turned 29 a couple of days ago, and I told my mom, 29, and I'm still living at home. And my mom tells me, you're doing great. You have a job that you've kept for upcoming a year now. And you're doing so well in being dedicated to that. And you're doing very well. So here's a background about myself. In between the ages of 18 and 20, I was attending automotive school at community college, and I didn't even consider the military. But once when I dropped out of community college, I intensely considered the military at age 20. And this was before I knew I had Asperger's syndrome at the time, and this was way before I developed PTSD. So. After YWAM, life took an interesting turn. I had several jobs from McDonald's to warehouse work to Goodwill to all of these interesting jobs. I left my home church briefly. At that time, went to Kara's. And life just seemed to be going in different directions all at once. So now, at age 24, I decided to go back to community college and study welding. And I have my welding certificates and it's wonderful. But yet I'm still living with my parents. And this is something that has happened naturally because I live in Colorado. I don't live near the docks. And I could have gotten a really good welding job at the docks anywhere on the coastlines from Florida to California to basically oil rigs, stuff like that. I desperately wanted this, but I ended up not taking that route. And now I'm at home working a warehouse job, driving a forklift and a big Joe, pretty soon a straddler, which you don't know is like a standing forklift and it's something that i really loved over this past year because september i would have been at this job over a year so part of the biggest reasons why i have had several jobs was because of a i could have kept those jobs if in certain situations i've kept my mouth shut and i've been stupid and b they just were not a good fit for me, all in all. But right now, I'm in a place where I am working a job with lots of overtime. Unfortunately, it's still a contracting agency job. So hopefully, they'll hire me on within this next month or two, because September will be my year mark. And if they decide to let me go, hopefully there's a better paying job down in Arizona where my parents plan to move, and that way I can hopefully be able to live on my own from there. But my advice for anyone in this situation right now is take advantage of opportunities like college, the trades, the military, just anything you can get your hands on. And if you're working your first job, stay silent, keep to yourself, Keep your head down, keep working. Because there's a lot of 
things that have happened in my life where I didn't necessarily like a lot of my jobs and I moved on after those jobs. So I wish I had joined the military at a young age. It would have been fantastic. I'm hoping to get my next job, be able to get a place of my own with a roommate and be able to actually start paying bills because it might not be nice paying bills, but I will understand what it's like to be independent. So right now we live in a society where a lot of kids are in their parents' house and I'm one of them, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, we're enabling that. So that's something that we need to look at. So right now I am at my parents' house. I sort of liked drawing, but became disinterested in that and then started to love music more. And my friend who has autism like me, he was wondering why I gave up on drawing and I told him that simply because of the fact that I lost interest in it. So living with my parents, do I feel like I'm still stuck on the platform? Yes, 100%. I'm on the launching pad and I am not taken off yet. I've been told a lot of times in my life how I'm doing great and wonderful things and that I will continue to do great and wonderful things. And that's really nice to hear. And I'm not demeaning that at all. It's just one of those deals where I just wish I could get off the launching pad, especially when you're a male and you have Asperger's syndrome and now PTSD, you don't understand social situations that well. You don't understand social issues that well. You want to learn where your skills lie. For me, I know for a fact that my interests and skills revolve around cars, metal music, and religion. So this is something that I've been learning, especially during my spiritual emergency. It's something that has been really mind captivating me. It's something that I've been aware of this whole time. I've been wanting to move out of my parents' house for a long time now, but at the same time, everyone just laughs off and says, that's just not possible at your age. At least they said that to me before in the past. They said it to me while I was living in the present. They never said it about the future. So when I was 18, 19, 20, I envisioned leaving my parents' house at that age and I would have loved it. But people said that's realistically impossible and now there are sources and media saying that ex-military members and current military members have moved in with their parents. So I do believe that with the inflation, the rising costs of everything, the rising cost of living has caused us to stay at home with our parents. And the fact that there hasn't been anything to drive us into moving out of our parents' house at a young age is kind of a big deal. Well, let's take a look at World War I and World War II, both World Wars. So back then, people were moving out in between the ages of 14 and 16 and 18. Back then, it was because they never had the technology we had today. They were either forced to farm for their parents' house or go join the war. It's just really interesting. So now let's relax on the couch here. I do believe we are in the war of words in this modern day and era. So that being said, if you are not religious or don't affiliate with Christianity in any way, I'm not forcing my beliefs down your throat. I just want to read a really good scripture that I've always loved in this day and age. It's in the book of the Bible, and the specific book is James. <laughs>
So James chapter 3, verse 6. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness, corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. Strong words there, coming from the mouth of James. So anyways, what that means to me is, is that in this day and era, since we are watching what we should say to people, and since we are watching not to piss people off with our mouths, we are definitely in the era of that verse in particular. It talks about how the tongue can set forest fires on fire, metaphorically speaking, of course, and it also talks about a lot of other things and how it can be used for good at the same time. So anyhow, I share that with you because if you're living with your parents, you might want to take a closer look at all the tongues in the room, not just yours, not just your parents, but all of them. So I do think that when you live with your parents, you are definitely using words like, I blame my parents for this. I blame myself for this. I blame God for this. I blame the enemy for this. I blame my friends for this. And you just point fingers at people. So right now, I would say don't look at just one side, look at all sides of this angle. So anyways guys, thanks for viewing this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more. Anyhow, would love to hear your comments, your feedback on this topic, on why I'm still living at home at age 29 and maybe why you're still living at home at whatever age you're at right now. And would love to hear any feedback if I could have some help with this and how I can do more to move out of my parents' house. But as of right now, I'm staying and I'm hoping to move out soon and get an amazing job in Arizona or get hired on here for a while. So thanks. God bless, guys. May you always have a wonderful, amazing, blessed week.